time for What's the Move, and we, we're going bowling. We're going bowling, that's right. We've got a lot of bowls to get into this Saturday, obviously. Bowl season is ticking off. We have six games to get through, Doug. I'm going to shoot them at you, as usual. Give me what you think. Let's start off the Myrtle Beach Bowls. Very nice, very nice. Georgia Southern is laying three here versus Ohio. This over-under is sitting 48 and a half. The first game of the bowl season captures the headache that is betting on bowls because you have both quarterbacks out, running backs out, tons of guys in the portal, and it's and we've seen line movement. Sharp money came in on Ohio plus four. It's down to three. I don't know if I agree with that. And there's sharp money on the over. I definitely don't agree with it. So Ohio Ohio's offense just going to be really limited. I I I mean. I get it. It's matching, right. <laughs> but I'm just not a believer in that side. So I'm just going to sit on the sideline here, but I want to share with our viewers that sharp money has, has come in on the over and the side of the, the underdog here. I like it. Next up, the New Orleans or New Orleans Bowl. Uh, Jacksonville State laying two and a half versus Louisiana. This over under nice and high, 59. Yeah, so this uh, this money came on the dog as well. Went from three and a half to two and a half. I do agree with the sharp money on the under here. I really like it, so... I, I think it's just too many points. And it's one thing to keep in mind with all these bowl games. We typically don't see like overtime because what happens is teams go for two like late in the fourth quarter. They don't go for the tie. It's like, hey, we're on vacation. Let's let it rip. So you'll see some fourth down attempts like positive territory that you don't see in overtime. Sorry, if you don't see during the regular season. So we typically won't get overtime and things like that. So I think it's just a big number. For when you, I think there's going to be some 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 more like uh, empty drives. All right, uh, the Cure Bowl is next. Miami of Ohio versus App State. App State's laying six and a half this time. Over under set forty two and a half. Yeah, this over under's come down six points. It's severe weather, wind in Orlando, and I still like the under. It might be my favorite play of Saturday. The under forty two and a half. Miami of Ohio is a defensive minded team. I think the weather favors them catching six and a half. There is a seven out there in the market. You can get seven, maybe you will come Saturday. The market moves a little bit, you know. But I just think it really lends itself. I think unless we see some just gross turnovers or gross like 70-yard runs or something like mm -hmm. that, I think the weather is going to be significant. Keep in mind Miami of Ohio's kicker is the Lou Groza sort of uh, stud kicker. And even in the wind, I think they're going to lean on him a little bit. But I think it's too many points at 42 and a half. I really do. I think this is going to be one of those weird games with weather and all that. So, uh, you know, who doesn't want to root for an under? Who most doesn't? people, most people, but hey, hey, I, I like me some unders. My guy Arthur over there. All right, <laughs> moving on. The New Mexico Bowl. These guys aren't heading too far. New Mexico State versus Fresno State. New Mexico State is obviously laying three and a half here. Over under at sixty one. No, it's a great point. So teams usually it's like this treat to go somewhere warms right. up for you to stay in your backyard and go. We just play. go down the street. It's really bizarre, and we see this a little bit in some bowl games every year. And I think it goes both ways in terms of the handicap and what the betting angle is. It help them? Is it hurt? I don't know. I think Fresno's got some moving parts with their coaching staff. Right. And they ended the year terribly. I want to say three straight losses. So I can't back them. I would lean to maybe the money line on the Aggies here. But do you really want to lay money line on a favorite in this crazy, unpredictable exhibition season that is bowl season? It's a pass for me, but that's sort of the underlying uh, narratives coming in. Got it. Staying on the uh, locals trend here, we're heading to the L.A. Bowl. Who, who's coming over? UCLA, get on down here. UCLA, you're laying four versus Boise State. This over under sitting at 48 and a half. Yeah, and Gronk singing the national anthem. I don't Gronk know if we're going to have singing the national I don't know if we're going to have props on the national anthem like we do at the Super Bowl. I, 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 yeah, is there, yeah, will, will he forget words, things like that? He's going to embrace it. So good luck to him out there. I think that's the right bowl. I could be wrong, though. But he is singing a national anthem in some bowl game. I just assume it's this one. I'm hoping it's this one. Um, the totals moved down, both quarterbacks out. So Boise State finished the season strong, won the Mountain West title game, but their stud quarterback transfer portal going to Arkansas. Uh, Garbers is the quarterback for UCLA. Chip Kelly did not get fired, and they have their studs in the transfer portal. I think UCLA is the better team. is going to be more polished, and Garbers is going to be more settled, but I don't want to lay four points here. There's Circa, a book here in town, and other states too. Very sharp book. They're on the high side here. Um, just to give it perspective, the Raiders-Chargers game, they went to three and a half the night before the game, and everyone else stayed at three. Mm. So they have sharp money. They know how to manipulate the market and move the mark. So that tells you. So if they're on the high side, favorite is usually the right play. And again, Boise's got some moving parts here. UCLA just got waxed in their last game by Cal. I mean, just undressed. So you wonder if they use that as sort of like a kind of get the bad taste out of their mouth. 
I'm passing, but I couldn't fault anyone for laying it with the Bruins. So, all right, well, speaking of the undressing, they're right over here. The Independence Bowl is Cal versus Texas Tech. Tech, though, laying three here over under 56. Yeah, this and Tech team is weird. Like, they played Oregon really tough beginning of the season, but the Ducks got much better throughout, so you got to be careful there. Uh, really sharp bet came in at minus two and a half, moved the market to three. One bet, moved that book moved to three, and then the market followed. I would only lay with Texas Tech side because of that. I mean, there's just – Cal is – I mean, they're just not that good, man. Like, they, they have their moments where they – put up nearly 50 against USC, although a lot of teams did. But they came to play in that game, and they, they've played up to their opponent a little bit. Like I said, wax do you see like? But for the most part, this is like a second or third-tier Pac-12 team. Uh, not that Texas Tech is a first-tier Big 12 team, but I, I would lay it with the with the Red Raiders if I had to, but that's probably the only side I would play. If you had to. All right, Reckham Tech. Well, that wraps up. What's the move? If you missed any of that, head on over to our website. All the recap, analysis, breakdown, it's all there. Onlyplayers.com.